Okay, so been really busy handling a lot of things. Thankfully, we got a job right now. It's currently about like 5:39 a.m. and um, you just gotta put in that work, extra work. Early bird gets the worm. Just gotta make sure you get the bird and not the worm. We're gonna dispose of some things. Not too many things. This is actually one of the cleanest houses we've had to dispose. And. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna clean out all the cabinets. This fancy table, looks really nice. I don't know if you can see this table or not. Everything on there is gonna stay, even Brian's jacket. <laughs> and then that's pretty much it. Algunas palabras ahí, Brian? No. <laughs> all right, uh, Top G is sleeping. Too expensive, had to pay him $90 one day. All right guys, take care. You want to have all the power tools to disarm these things, right, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, you gotta have some hammers to break things down. Honestly, you want to get more bang for your buck. Um, compartmentalizing these stuff. So then you, that way you have more space. And then you give them an honest and fair price. You call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. You call uh, junk. Uh, I don't know, junk kings and junk luggers and college hunks and whoever nearby your area. Just give them a call, see how much they charge for a full load, truck load. Uh, get their cubic yards through Google. See if, um, I don't know, 1-800-GOT-JUNK is uh, 15 or 12 cubic yards or junk kings is 18. So this is, um, this is junk. And my model, my company is one trash is another treasure. That looks like a nice little speed bike, whatever. Uh, this one, let me see if I give it to my friend. But, um, well, that's kind of funny, huh? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just try to think of others and then power tools are expensive. I like having this skill saw, the Milwaukee one, I got from Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can check it out. Uh, power tools are essential. Honestly, if you can get the battery ones and then you charge them all the time, Milwaukee with like four batteries, I think you should be good. Um, and then safety, you know, just take care of yourself. Got the eyeglasses on and everything. Uniforms, so we can charge a little bit better. We can charge a little bit more and we look more professional. So, uh, take a look. What truck load? Take a photo. There you go, Jeffrey. All right, let's just keep our recording. You know I took it, right? Uh, so that wood is on my other side. Take that seat. Rebecca, if you're watching this video, take it. She doesn't watch her videos. I know. Hey. <laughs> that light's gotta go. Beautiful house. They're empty. Check them out. I'm not gonna open it. You guys know the spiel. The bag? Vacuum, yeah, we'll get the bag. Right San Jose. Put a 
falla en este equipo. When you guys get your first uh, real, real jump removal job, they'll give you a lockbox, they'll give you their trust, and don't let them down. More importantly, don't let yourself down. So, this is the key. I'm gonna put it back in the lockbox. I wanna tell you guys, you know, I, I waited two months to get a job. It was humbling, it was hard, it was tough, it was depressing. And uh, I was able to, to get a job and Ever since, I was like, once I get my first opportunity, I'm not gonna let it go. I'm gonna keep on striving for greatness, I'm gonna keep on pushing, do my thing. We took the bot, we took the psychologist's seat, and uh, hopefully Rebecca takes it, she can do her own psychology or something. You don't get it. So, I used to watch a lot of uh, Jedi junk removal, but more so, honestly, um, so I'm strong in hauling, and I just, Binge watched a lot of their videos. I didn't watch every single video, but I saw at least a solid like 30 videos. I saw, I can tell you I saw at least like 50 jump removal videos on just how they do it, how they move, how they talk, how they hustle, and then their struggle and their stories too. So, this world's interesting, you know? If you work hard and you out hustle your, your competition, you'll be good. Because a lot of people are like, can I make money? In reality, you can make money from almost anything. But it's just how much work do you want to put in? So we woke up, what, 4 o'clock in the morning, Jeffrey? Yeah. Yeah, 4 o'clock in the morning. And we came here around like 5.30. And we finished in two hours and a half. And I mean, I'm going to pay the guys half day at least so they can get something. But, you know, I, I appreciate their hard work. And you have to understand too that when the problem comes, you gotta be the solution. Whether you don't even have it, you gotta find a way. So, just keep on striving, don't give up guys. Honestly, you can make an honest living from junk removal and whatever you set your mind to. But how, how bad do you want it? And also more importantly, how fast are you gonna recover from a mistake to just get back on, on the wagon and just keep on going? I think that's a really important trait for an entrepreneur, a CEO. Well, God bless you guys. God is great. Hence, GIG, San Francisco Bay Area to serve you guys. Take care.